Hey, Tisha here for Rant and Rave. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's so many Asian influences that have reached the United States now. I mean, look at me. I'm standing in front of the Bobalicious here at Mir Mesa drinking bubble tea. And there's this thing called Harajuku. I don't know, what is it? A Gwen Stefani song or something? Let's go in and find out. I have a friend inside. He's a fashion designer who's actually lived in Japan, and he'll be able to tell us all about it. So Kiflo, what really is Harajuku? Well, Harajuku essentially is an area of Tokyo. It started with like a bunch of high school kids wanting just to be different, wanting to lash out, wanting to kind of create their own identities. And it sprung from like those kids to other people from around that area, just kind of creating like this big burst of like street fashion. It's an attitude and it's a concept. It's more about finding things that express who you are, being able to put things together in your own personal way. You don't really see the same thing on different people. Each person is very individual and very, you know, just unique. When you look at Japanese culture, they have a lot of tradition, they have a lot of expectation and a lot of pressure. Out of that, you know, the younger kids being kind of in that kind of society had to break free of the traditional kind of boundaries that they were, you know, living in for a while. Whether it's music or you know skateboarding or whatever, there's always some kind of rebellion, and I think this is one form that took place in Japan. I design collections every season for this line that I hope that comes out really soon called Black Sheep Apparel. Um, no matter what kind of style or what mode um, I'm in, there's always that like remnant of that Japanese street style. I don't think that we're gonna really adopt the whole Japanese Harajuku street style for what it is. I think we're gonna definitely be inspired by it and take some of the important concepts and kind of institute it here with our own fashion. So I think that kind of attitude and that more kind of do-it-yourself individuality, like uniqueness, will come into play a little bit more here in the States. People here are gonna take that kind of thought process from the Japanese street style of just looking at pieces and learning how to work those in with their personality. So I already know what Harajuku is, I get it. And you can actually get stuff like this from Urban Outfitters, but why? What's the point? You can go into your own closet and like pick things out, throw some things together, and make it your own individual style. You are the best stylist to best express yourself. You know what? I'm gonna go get myself some more Bobalicious. I'll see you guys later.